Welcome back to the Pedia Tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to do Mesmer from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm going to draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm going to draw his eye with the curve line upwards in the middle point. Turn it sideways to the right and slightly upwards. And from that same point from the middle, sharp turn diagonally up to the right, across to the right, curve line downwards, same as a good turn to the left and turn it back upwards at the inner corner. On the left side of that, I'm going to draw a line across to the left. And at that ending point, I'm going to draw a diagonal line downwards and slightly to the right. Same as a good turn to the right. Same as a good turn back upwards on the right corner. At the side of the eye on the right, a line across right there. In the middle of the eye, I'm going to draw across a line to the left. And I'm going to copy the same shape of the eye on the left side. Now above the eye, I'm going to draw his hoodie with an arch curve line from the outer corner of the left eye. Turn it back downwards on the right outer corner. Extend that ending point diagonally down and out to the right. Semi so turn back diagonally in to the middle point. I'm going to do the same thing on the left side of his hoodie right there. Above the eye of center, I'm going to draw on the left a line upwards and slightly to the middle point. Across in the middle point, turn it back downwards and to the right. Above that, I'm going to draw a similar line at the side on both the left and right. Turn it sideways at the ending point on the side. Turn it upwards sideways to the middle point. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side right here. At the outer corner of that shape, I'm gonna do a line upwards above the eye and another one on the right side. Another line upwards at the outer corner on the left and right. Below the eye, I'm going to draw his nose with a line upwards off center on the left. Sharp turn diagonally downwards at the outer corner. Mirror that same set of line on the right side. Below the nose, I'm going to draw his teeth with a line upwards in the middle point. Arch curve line to the left and turn it back downwards. Repeat that same shape on the left corner and I'm going to do the same thing on the right side right here. At the lower point of that row of teeth, I'm going to draw a line across right there. For the fangs at the side, I'm going to draw a similar shape at this upper point. Extend it downwards and to the middle point on both sides. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side as well. At the side of the fang, I'm going to continue the line of the teeth outwards to the right. And copy the same shape of the teeth across to the right side of his face right here. And align up on the right side. I'm going to do the same thing on the left side of his face. And for his lower teeth, I'm going to draw a line diagonally to the side of his fang. Continue that curve line across in the middle point. And mirror the same curve line on the right side here as well. Fill in that space with black color. Mm -hmm. 
For the lower teeth, I'm gonna mirror the same shape of the upper teeth at this lower point. Turn it downwards at the side, diagonal turn to the side of his chin, curve line across on his chin and mirror the same shape of the jaw on the right side right here. At the side of his eye at the lower point, I'm going to draw a diagonal line downwards to the right, across to the right, turn it upwards, sideways to the left, turn it downwards and turn it diagonally down to the right. Below that, I'm going to draw a line across, turn it downwards on both sides, and align across at the lower point. Inside of that, align across in the middle point. And below that line, I'm going to draw a line across from the left, turn it downwards. Above that line on the left corner, align upwards, sideways to the right, turn it downwards. Mirror the whole thing on the left side of his face. Below his head, I'm going to draw a curve line at the side on the left and right, right there. And below that, another curve line across. And from the side, a curve line downwards on the left and another one on the right. At the side of his hoodie on the left, I'm going to trace the same outline along the edge at this outer corner. Turn it further away from the line of the hoodie and to the middle of his head above Sam is going to turn across to the right and mirror the whole head shape on the right side of his head I'm gonna trace the same outline to the middle point of the hoodie at that corner and I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side right here at the side of his eye, I'm going to draw a curve line at the outer corner on the left and another curve line downwards at the inner corner right there. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side of the eye. Below the hoodie on the left, I'm going to draw a diagonal line downwards. Turn it sideways to the left, same as a good turn diagonally downwards. From that same point below the hoodie, I'm going to draw a diagonal line to the right and downwards. Same as a turn downwards, sideways to the middle point on the right. Turn it downwards and extend that line all the way to the lowest point of the jacket. Turn it sideways to the left and at that corner, I'm going to draw his zipper with a rectangular shape. And inside of that, at the lower point, I'm going to draw a small square shape. On the left side of the zipper, I'm going to draw a curve line out to the left. Turn it upwards at the outer corner. And above that ending point, I'm going to draw a curve line across to the right. And above the zipper, I'm going to draw a line upwards on the left corner. All the way back upwards to the color of the jacket and another similar line upwards on the right side right here. At the outer corner of the jacket on the left, I'm gonna flare it out with curve line, turn it back inwards and up and diagonal turn upwards all the way to his shoulder point. On the left side of that, in the middle point, I'm going to draw the outer line of his arms with diagonal curve line to the left and downwards. Same as a turn across with curve line to the left. Same as a turn upwards at the outer corner. 
above that ending point I'm gonna draw a curve line outwards to the left semicircle turn back inwards and up curve line across to the right and on the right side I'm gonna turn it upwards and I'm gonna turn it upwards as well on the left corner curve line across at that point inside of that shape I'm gonna draw some lines downwards on the right side of that sleeve I'm gonna draw a curve line to the right semi turn downwards turn it inwards and downwards now for his hand I'm gonna draw above the sleeve on the left corner a curve line at that point turn it upwards on both ending points and upside down V shape above that at the side of that shape at this lower point on the left align to the outer corner turn it upwards and slightly to the right across to the right a V shape across right there across to the right turn it diagonally down and to the right turn it diagonally to the left and downwards turn it downwards sideways to the middle point inside of that shape I'm gonna draw in the middle point a line across turn it diagonally down on both sides turn it downwards sideways to the right and upwards a line across above that ending point I'm gonna repeat that same set of shape on the left side right here and above that shape at the side I'm gonna draw a hexagon shape on the right corner and on the left side as well in the middle point of that two shape I'm gonna draw another V shape at this lower point above that whole thing on the left align upwards across to the right turn it downwards on the right side above that shape on the left corner align up upside down V shape turn it downwards repeat that same set of line on the right side right here a line across to the right below that and above the sleeve on the right I'm gonna draw the side of his hand with a curve line diagonally up to the right turn it across to the right same as turn back to the left with a curve line and above that finger I'm gonna draw another diagonal line up to the right same could turn back downwards diagonally on the left side on the left side of that curve line upwards curl it slightly to the left same as could turn back downwards on the left corner repeat that same shape of the finger again on the left corner right there and for his thumb on the left side diagonal curve line to the left and up same as could turn back downwards on the right side Below the hoodie on the left, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line across to the right, right there. And above that line, I'm gonna draw some lines upwards. I'm gonna copy the whole jacket shape on the right side without the zipper. At the lower left corner of his jacket, I'm gonna draw some lines downward. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side right here. In the middle of his jacket, I'm gonna draw a curve line across right there. And another one below that. And in between the two lines, I'm gonna draw lines downwards along that space right there. Below that, I'm gonna draw another line across. And for the middle point of his pants, 
I'm gonna draw a curve line across at this lower point. Above that curve line, I'm gonna draw off center a line upwards on the left corner and another one on the right side. Below that curve line, I'm gonna draw the inner line of his pants on the left with diagonal curve line downwards, flared out above the knee with a curve line semi-turn back diagonally inwards. Curve line out at the side of that, turn it back diagonally inwards. Another curve line at the side of that downwards. Same as a turn across to the left. Same as a turn back diagonally inwards on the left corner. And above that ending point, I'm gonna draw a curve line up. Same as a turn inwards to the right. And above that ending point, another similar curve line diagonally out. Same as a turn inwards. Curve line diagonally upwards to the lower line of his jacket on the left. Below the pants, I'm gonna draw at the inner corner, diagonal line downwards to the left, turn it downwards. And for the outer line of that shoe, I'm gonna draw a similar diagonal line down on the left corner. Same as a turn diagonally out to the left. Turn it downwards with a curve line at the front tip of the shoe. Curve line across to the right. Turn it diagonally up and to the back of his shoe right there. Slightly above that line, I'm gonna repeat that same set of line right there. And another one slightly above that. And above that, from the back, I'm gonna repeat the same set of line again. And in the middle point, turn it upwards. Curve line diagonally to the left. Same as turn across to the left. From the left corner of the shoe, I'm gonna draw a curve line across to the right. Below the pants, I'm gonna draw a square shape on the left corner right there. And inside of that, on the top left corner, a line across to the right. Turn it downwards, sideways to the left. Turn it upwards, sideways to the right. Below that shape, I'm gonna draw some rectangular shape along the left side of the shoe, all the way downwards. And I'm gonna repeat the whole leg shape on the right side. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time!